I'm here to show you what this unit does. This particular unit is called the Mega Home Water Distiller. This uh, is made to distill water. But a lot of people have been asking me, can you distill alcohol? You can. And what I'm here to do today is show you how to do it the proper way. But I would like to warn you that alcohol distillation is not legal in North America. It is the responsibility of the user to abide by the local laws. Brewers Direct does not accept responsibility for illegal use of any distillation apparatus. Having said that, let's get started on how to make alcohol with this unit. What you're going to have to do first of all is get familiarized with your equipment. Uh, I purchased this at Brewers Direct that's the cheapest I found and it is a very good unit and what comes with this is you'll get uh, six pouches of charcoal that will uh, help you clean out uh, your alcohol from uh, off flavors and smells you'll also get me, uh, some uh, cleaning agent you get a collection jar you get uh, the charcoal holder, and then you'll get the distillation unit itself, which comes in two pieces, basically the head and the main body, and you'll get all the cords with it too. So how we're going to start off with is basically what you're going to need is a base. Uh, they refer to it as a wash. You can make yourself a wash by using a, a super yeast, water, sugar, and uh, mix it in a pail. This particular uh, product will make you 5 gallons or 23 liters of wash at 20%. It'll take about 5 to 7 days before it's ready. Once it's done, what you'll do is you'll put your wash in here. Um, it's a stainless steel vat. Right now I have some um, actually old wine. Uh, I opened up a few bottles. They've gone bad. So instead of throwing them out, I poured it in here and I'm going to distill some uh, alcohol with that. They have an indicator on the side here and it's not to exceed that, uh, that, that amount because uh, what you'll do is just create a mess. So don't go past that indicator. So I've topped it up, all you have to do is put the top on, plug it in the appropriate outlet, and then just plug in uh, your main power cord. And what you're going to do now is you place a measuring cup underneath the uh, spout. Now it's going to take about 45 minutes before this uh, starts to um, it start to drip, right? and that's going to be the beginning of your alcohol. Those uh, uh, first 10-20 millimeters of alcohol is called uh, the head of your alcohol, which is a methanol alcohol. It is, uh, it is uh, considered a poison. Uh, it is also, just uh, as a fact, in all other alcohols in a 1% solution, right? So that's why out of 4 liters, we're taking about 10, 20 mils to be on the safe side. What you'll do is you'll discard it, throw it away. Uh, after that point, you'll just move over your measuring cup. And what you'll do is you will get your charcoal holder. What I do with my product is, uh, since you can use this 4 to 5 batches uh, in considering doing one is considered a batch. Uh, um, what I do is I put this in hot or boiling water, and what it'll do is it'll disinfect the charcoal, but it'll also activate it. Uh, once you do that, you just pull it out, fold it, put it in the appropriate slots in here, and then what you'll do is you'll take this little disc with a hole in it, place it on top, and what that does is the drippings will uh, make sure that they focus in the center so it goes right onto the charcoal. As it drips through the charcoal, it is going to clean the alcohol um, from its vapors, off odors, and off taste. You'll place it on top of your collection jar 
added to the nipple here. And for the next 30, 35 minutes, it'll, it'll begin to collect. You're going to collect from a four liter batch of good alcohol, but you're going to collect um, 500 to 600 uh, milliliters of alcohol, right? And what I suggest after that is just unplug it, and then you'll take uh, your collection jar, and now you're going to want to see what percentage you're at. The kit, uh, when you purchase this, will not you will not receive uh, what it's called a proof and trail or a, an alcohol tester and a test jar. So you're going to need to buy those separately, and those are available well at Brewers directly. You can, you can get those, and all you have to do is pour your alcohol in here. It floats wherever the alcohol crosses. That's your reading, and on average you'll get about 65 percent uh, on your first run. And then what you can do is distill a, a, a batch of water, use that to, dot, to uh, cut your alcohol uh, so you can flavor it if you need a rye, scotch, brandy, or if you want to get into liqueurs, you'll dilute it even a little bit more and uh, you can make uh, all different kinds of uh, liqueurs, Sambuca, Amaretto, or Frangelico, uh, Name it, and uh, uh, Brewers Direct actually has a good uh, variety of uh, these flavorings available. And that's how easy it is to distill alcohol using this water distiller. Uh, remember, uh, drink safely, uh, don't go crazy, uh, because it is very easy to use and very safe. Have yourself a good day.